Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at Desktop Security 2010. A Desktop Security 2010 is a rogue client. It's a fake security client. Uh, today we're going to be removing it on a Windows 7 computer. This is going to work for Windows Vista as well, because it's basically the same uh, interface, as well as for XP. XP is going to have slightly different file paths. Um, we do recommend that you actually go to the RemoveVirus.org website and read the manual guide if you have any questions, and uh, feel free and ask your questions over there too as well. Again, that's going to be on removevirus.org. Just do a search for Desktop Security 2010 you'll find the correct guide. So let's go ahead and move on. This is a full removal guide of how to remove uh, Desktop Security 2010 for free. So let's go ahead and get um, started. So this is the main interface right here that you're going to see and you're going to notice that down in the actual system tray, if I pop down there real quick for you, you're going to see the uh, Desktop Security icon running there as well as there'll be that shield that that uh, will hide on you and that's going to be a fake shield too as well. Now that's what I'm going to do here and not everybody will be able to bring up the uh, task manager but uh, let me go ahead and try because I believe I still can. Now if you're in normal mode um, you will be able to well may or may not be able to bring up the Windows Task Manager. We do have another tool on our website that's already renamed that works very similar to Task Manager and that's going to be under our software section up on top, the antivirus review section anyways. And we're going to notice that the desktop security 2010s here as well as there should be one other one or two other. We got the load.exe that's another one. Let's see if we can't find the other. And that's all I'm seeing right now. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And if you, if you um, are having a lot of troubles and can't bring anything up, boot into safe mode. If you don't know how, uh, just go to our how-to guides and we'll show you how to boot into safe mode. Um, if you're in safe mode, these processes will not be running and you can just simply browse down to the directory we're going to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on uh, desktop security. I'm going to open file location. And it's actually going to bring me up here to the actual file location, which is going to be your username, app data, roaming desktop security. So we'll show that XP path here in a second. And for those who are unable to bring it up, you can simply go to the start button, computer, let's go to the C drive. We're going to go under users. Now if this was XP, you'd, you'd go under documents and settings. Then click on the username and it's going to be under the app data. Now keep in mind XP users it's going to be application data but for our purposes app data. Now we have noticed it under local before too but we're going to go under roaming because that's where it's at this time. And we're going to go ahead and there's desktop security right there. Now if you're uh, in normal mode and uh, you come to this, this process will be running so you won't be able to delete it. So it's all I'd recommend doing is you can simply just right click on it hit rename and just name it whatever you want and same with the second file right click rename name it whatever you want task manager DLL rename are you sure you want to yes well it just I was able to remove it nice so let me go ahead and see if I can't remove that one yes you can try to delete this one chances are it's gonna fail out so let me let me ensure that it does Yep, cannot because it's actually in use. And that's why we have um, this still open. So even if I shut this down, it's still going to be running in the system tray. However, because I do have the task manager open, I am actually able to click on it and end the task. So let me go ahead and end task, end process. So now it's it actually stopped that process for me. So if I go over here, I'm going to stop this load.exe2 while I'm here. End in process. I'm done with the test measure. Now I should actually be able to delete this file. Delete. Yes. Let me show you another way to get to this file too as well. Oh, that's uh, PC Tools. Um, I, I use Spyro Doctor with Antivirus. It's my favorite uh, client. Um, we got Malwarebytes too as well. The paid version, not the free version. Um, the, it's it's what you should use. So let's go ahead and continue on here. MS config. This will work uh, in both XP and uh, Windows 7 and Vista. Now here, if I work, I went to the startup tab and basically we're looking for things that just don't fit right. So that obviously doesn't fit right. Whatever that is, you you 
UT two U U U. I mean, that just looked weird, right? Oh, that's why it's actual. Uh, that's the the virus itself, the file location that I actually loaded it from when I installed it on this computer. There's the desktop security, and there's the file path for us. And here's actually the registry key that we'll be deleting to in the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And you can go through here and just uncheck what you know isn't going to be right. So we had this. This is a leftover trace that I just haven't uh, bothered deleting yet. It's still on my system. I actually removed the file, but the uh, registry key is still there, so therefore it's still here on my computer. But you see how that's really weirdly named? That's really weirdly named. You're looking for stuff like that. And then, of course, the desktop security. It may say desktop security 2010 there, too, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, at this point in time, you will want to go ahead and restart. I'm going to go ahead and exit without restarting, just because I've already deleted that thread. Now, at this point in time, I would really recommend uh, go ahead and reboot your computer if you haven't rebooted yet. And uh, download the Aspire Doctor with Antivirus. Now, the, the uh, free trial that they have, 30-day trial, will protect your computer. However, the threats it finds, you will not be able to remove it unless you actually purchase the client. However, I strongly recommend you actually run a scan with this. Um, it's one of the best out there. It's what I personally use on my computer. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you all the file and folder paths, as well as the registry keys that are damaged. And from there, you can make, decide, yeah, I want to purchase because I don't have antivirus software. And you can just uh, hit the fix checked and be good to go. Now for those who are manually going to is what you're going to want to do is actually browse down to these file locations and uh, go ahead and delete the needed files. So we got uh, the PC Defender in the uh, Windows Startup menu programs. The big one, let me scroll down and find the big process right here. It's going to be in this folder. So I got to go to the program files, the x86, uh, def group, PC Defender, so let me go ahead and just go to it real quick for us. So I'm opened up my computer. I'm going to the C drive. I'm going to the programs. CD6. We got the depth group, PC Defender. And basically, it's everything inside there. And you're going to want to uh, remove these. So we're going to see that uh, there's a process killer tool there, process check. So what that's doing is if you're trying to open up programs before and it was closing them down, that's what was closing them down. So what it does is they filter it out and say, is this a, a program we want to allow you to run? And unless it's something like Explorer or Firefox, they're going to shut it down right away. So I can actually back out of this and I can actually right click on the uh, def group and just hit delete. I scroll down, I hit delete. Yes, boom, it deleted it all. So I went ahead, and in one fell swoop, I deleted all these. Uh, I've just deleted the def group folder, which uh, may or may not have been the best move, but uh, um, yeah, it works. So you're going to want to browse to these file paths and actually delete those links, too. Now, these are just links so uh, um, to the actual program itself, so they're not really all too, too bad. But uh, um, you do want to go ahead and delete them none the same. And uh, we also like malware bytes too, so uh, we do recommend you run a scan with that as well. Just be doubly sure that you get everything. And then do take note that uh, for the registry items, you can use use a registry cleaner program. I, I recommend you actually use uh, an antivirus client such as Fire Doctor with antivirus. These are values to be repaired. Now, everybody's going to be different on the values that they need to repair, and I can't really go over and tell you which ones actually need to and uh, what you have to do to repair it. Oftentimes it's changing a 1 into a 0 and things like that. But uh, uh, use antivirus client to repair actual registry keys. Is it vital? Yeah, I would recommend it. And we're actually going to browse down to um, a, a few traces that, that we had earlier to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop this uh, client real quick. We're going to show you how to edit uh, in the registry real quick. So I'm going back down to the uh, system tray here. I'm going to go ahead and type in reg edit. And please read our disclaimer on our website. We don't actually recommend people go into the registry and actually delete uh, registry keys. Um, this is more for educational purposes than uh, anything else for this trace right here. And it brought me to this folder. So it was under the HK local machine software, Microsoft. So not the current user, but the local machine. And you can always just run a search for it too, even though that is dangerous. Um, shared tools, I just don't recommend people actually do this themselves. Uh, using software is always the better way to go. 
antivirus software, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. I'm just going to delete this folder because I know it to be bad. You don't want to just start deleting folders unless you actually know they're bad. Um, this folder is bad too as well, the desktop security. So if we look, that's where the file path was that we, remo re we removed. And this is why it pointed me to that software Microsoft Windows current user run because that's where.